It is now 9 p.m. and I'm the only person in this restaurant. And nobody has even walked past for several minutes. Hello everybody, welcome back to a new series of cruise videos. I just walked into my cabin here on the Aida Perla cruise ship. I literally just walked in here. I'm so shiny, I'm sweaty, I'm breathing heavy because I took the stairs. <laughs> And I'm going to show you around the cabin just a little bit, but first, let's look at how the day started. Do you feel like you got broken into pieces by someone that you love? You love? Do you feel like you were waiting for the part when life will And here I am. Uh, this is the second cruise I've done in 2021. The first one I did was just a couple weeks ago on the Mind Shift 2, another German cruise ship, totally different line, totally different concept. This is my first time on this ship, on this, uh, I have cruised with Aida before, but not on this model of ship. This is a relatively new design for them. I really uh, am just looking forward to getting out there, exploring it. Uh, and I'm gonna do that in just a second, but let's just take a quick look around the cabin. Like I said, I just walked in here, walked from there to here. I took off my mask and let's take a look. The first thing that stands out is this circus tent like bed canopy here. And of course I will be doing a complete cabin tour. This is just gonna be sort of a quick look around first impressions. There is a couch over there that I'm sure can also be used as a bed. I don't see anything in the ceiling, you know, like for bunk beds that uh, that flip down. Small working space here, not really a very big countertop there. I, I have had bigger ones just on Mindshift a couple weeks ago and also on the MSC Grandiosa a couple months ago, my last two most recent cruises. Somebody sent me a surprise. I have a bottle of champagne here. Let's see who it's from. Oh, it's from my friend Christoph. Thank you so much, Christoph. Oh, that's sweet. And what else here? I see there's a telephone and the television. What is this? I think this is some kind of, yeah, room control. I see the television here, volume. But if that is the television remote, then what is that? I don't know. I see some bottles of water here. I'm sure they're not free. This is not an all-inclusive ship. It costs two fifty, dollars which is okay. Okay for cruise ship water. And then this area of the ship, or this area, excuse me, of my cabin, I know is um, is a little bit special. So other cabins, like I have like a balcony cabin plus, and that's because I have a somewhat bigger bathroom. So I've got 
bathroom. This is like just the washing room with the shower and sink. Like I said, I'm gonna show you all this in more detail. And this is the crapper and I can already see, is this Morgan approved or not? It's a glass door. Let me get some light in here. Oh, the light's not gonna work unless I put my card in the thing. Hold on. So, All right, it is a glass door, but it is really not very transparent. However, this, this is gonna be a problem. Good thing I'm traveling alone. I have to say, bathroom door, not really Morgan approved. As I was checking in down on land, they said that the first thing I should do when I get to my cabin is grab my uh, swim vest, my safety, what do you call that in English? My life preserver, you know, and I need to take that with me to my safety training. So I'm going to do that. Um, most likely I won't be able to film there. You usually can't. And, um, and then I'll be back here in a minute. I'm just getting back to my cabin and check this out. My bag is already here. That took like 15 minutes. I think I remember it being really quick on Mind Shift too. And I'm just wondering why it takes so long sometimes. You know, sometimes it's like right before dinner that it shows up. Maybe it's because, maybe it's quicker now because there's, oh sh I almost knocked over my champagne. And I haven't even drunk any of it yet. I was gonna say maybe it's just because there's so fewer passengers and more crew? I don't know. What I found interesting about the mustard rail here compared to just about any other ship I think I've ever been on is we had to bring our swim vests to the drill and then they also made us put them on. And I think the only time I can ever remember doing that in the past was my very first MSC cruise on the Grand... the... What was it called again? Magnifica. Have you cruised on a cruise line where you know they always make you try on your vest at the mustard drill? Let me know in the comments below. I have to call Marcus because there's something I have to clear up at home and then I'm gonna go up and explore the pool deck and you're coming with me. What do you think so far? I think, hmm, I'm so surprised that a ship of this size, that that little round thing outside, that is the entire outside pool. And I'm looking here and I thought, I thought that maybe they could open the roof of this area, but no. Unless it like, rolls over it definitely doesn't open like this way so it's just sort of weird to me that a ship of this size just has a small little round outdoor pool there's a like a splash and fun area towards the back that i showed you with the little lazy river and then the water slide but where the lazy river is is not where the water slide is you have to go out and then go up and then check back in to get into the water slide area then I'm here in what's called the beach club, which includes that little round outdoor uh, pool and then a bigger um, round indoor pool as well, which of course is nice if the weather's not so nice. And then up towards the front of the ship is another area with another pool, but I guess that's for sweet guests only. Uh, when I asked how to get there, they told me it's not for everybody. So I'm just assuming that it also ain't for me. But the ship definitely seems <laughs> 
empty, really empty. I don't know if maybe there's still some flights coming or what, but there's nobody there. There's nobody up here. All these chairs are empty. Oh, look, there's some other people. I'm gonna jump in the pool, rinse all this sweat and funk off of my body. Of course, I will be taking a shower at the side of the pool before I get into the part that everybody gets in. Oh, I forgot to tell you, did you guys see that there's a nudist area as well? I really have no problem with that. Uh, you know, we've talked about it here before, and in fact, on a ship like this, if there were a lot of children, then I probably would spend some time at the nudist area just because it's usually completely kid-free and quiet. But I don't know if I'll hang out there this trip because, like I said, there's like nobody here. freshened up, changed my clothes, popped the champagne, woo woo. And I'm getting ready to go out for dinner and I'm just seeing in the camera again, like just, this is all red and it's not sunburn. That's from wearing a mask. <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do? And I figured out what this is. This thing that was in there before is the remote control for the app part of the television. So you can watch normal television or you can, you know, look at menus and look at your onboard account and stuff using this. And uh, it will follow the movements of your hand. So let's try it here. Pressing. Did I press it? Yeah, I did. There it is. So now you can use this like a Nintendo Wii, but my gosh, Anybody else tired yet? <laughs> so I already checked out the menus here and they do have uh, a few different uh, buffets on board, but at the moment all the buffets are like ordering small plates from a menu. So there's buffet restaurants here, then there's the Fuego restaurant, which is pizza, pasta, and burgers, which is where I think I'm gonna go tonight to get a veggie burger, check it out. They also have a Brauhaus, a brewery with, you know, like bratwurst and sauerkraut and stuff like that. When in Rome, there's a French restaurant. There is the restaurant Casanova. What is that again? By the way, you can see I have the language set to English here, but it's still all in German. So Casanova is, oh, it's an Italian restaurant with pasta also included in the price. Then there is a steakhouse from a television cook Rossini restaurant? Why does that also sound Italian? It is, oh wow. Okay, this is like the, I, probably the signature restaurant. They're advertising a three course menu for $28.50, a six course menu for $34.50. Then there's a sushi bar, not included in the price. Tapas bar, I think is included. Yes, tapas is included. I definitely will be checking that out. And then there's a children's menu and then the cocktail menu. And one thing I wanted to say about the pool, I know I was kind of ripping on it being, you know, that there's just so little outdoor area. And that really does seem strange to me still. Um, but you know, there's still an indoor area and then there's the splash area in the back uh, with the lazy river and uh, the water slide and stuff like that. And then the pool area in the front, I think that's actually for the spa. I'm not sure. And actually up on the, the nudist deck, there's also at least one hot tub, maybe two. I'm not sure, so. And now it's time for burgers. Surprise, the burger restaurant was closed. So we're getting tapas. This is the menu 
and mm -hmm. you know it's really uh, typical tapa stuff with olives and salami and machiko cheese and papas arugadas and mojo sauce and you know things like that and i like that too this is a kind of cool part of the concept this is the plate so it's like it's actually kind of a you know what I mean, like a baking form. The first round is here. That is my manchego queso. These are cream cheese filled peppers. That is some aioli, which is gonna be gone in about two seconds. There is some mixed olives, and here is some fresh bread. I mean, other than butter on fresh baked bread, is there anything better than aioli? It's just so good. A cool concept. I'm just realizing again how empty the ship is. There's two other tables here and it's just so quiet. Like nobody's walking past. Literally the waiters are standing around here and they have nothing to do because everybody's taken care of and it's kind of sad. But you know, I'm also grateful and it's uh, interesting to be able to experience cruising at this time the way it is right now you know what i mean i'm also grateful for this cheese which is right over here i haven't tasted the potatoes yet mojo rojo it tastes good but it tastes like there's sun-dried tomatoes in there and that's not like you know a really authentic mojo rojo but this is what's on my plate now and i have to say the red wine that's like the house red on Aida is much better than the house red on Mind Shift. It is now 9 p.m. and I'm the only person in this restaurant. And nobody has even walked past for several minutes. It's a late night cocktail cam, and I do not currently have any kind of alcoholic beverage in my hand. This is a tradition I started on my last cruise when I would be yeah, back in the cabin at the end of the night and realize that I didn't film a lot of stuff and try to sort of catch catch you up on everything that happened in the nighttime hours. And as always, you know, cruise ship cabins are not famous for being like 
superbly lit for making YouTube videos in the evening. Which is weird, you know, you, you would think they would be. Oh, but seriously, one thing I forgot to mention or I, I, that I didn't notice this afternoon when I when we were just doing the quick look around the cabin is that right and left from the bed, there are no outlets and no USB ports. And this ship is only like three years old, so too bad. But I really think that this, um, this like circus tent background, there's just something really cool about that. And if it was a little bit lighter in here, this would be a really good like setup and background. You know that I know that that's not really a problem, right? What would be a little bit of a problem is that uh, I'm on deck nine and the theater, like the top level of the theater is just right down here and I can, definitely hear the music and I can feel some of the bass too. And, you know, I, I get offered these like discount cabins. And so this is definitely one of the discount cabins. And so, um, you know, really nothing to complain about there, but just definitely, if you happen to be watching this and are going to be cruising on the Aida Perla, just know that if you are a early sleeper, don't get a cabin in the middle of the ship on deck nine. Like I said at dinner, the ship seems really, really empty. I was walking through some of the restaurant areas uh, as we were sailing away tonight and it's just like tables and tables and so much like real estate here on the ship is just empty. Empty. And I think that has to do with the fact that right now there are no school holidays. Uh, there's a whole thing with ha people having to quarantine when they get back home for at least five days, sometimes 10 days, sometimes 14 days. And that makes, you know, a one week trip, actually a three week trip, unless you can do home office. And I don't know, maybe Mindshift has just become more popular than Aida at the moment. You know, all except for my very first Mindshift cruise back in last, what was it like, August? Every cruise I've done with Mindshift, and especially the cruise I did on the Grandiosa, has had more people on it than this ship does right now. Either that or they're just really well spread out, but from my experience today, I would say it's just a little more empty. Empty. And you know, that has its advantages and disadvantages, but when I was sitting in the tapas bar all alone tonight, I was thinking that it felt like, I don't know if you've ever like walked through, you know, like a shopping mall that sort of like, not very popular anymore and you know some of the stores are closed and you walk through it and you kind of think you know what i bet this place is going to get torn down pretty soon it's kind of that kind of energy i mean of course that's not going to happen this is due to a whole different situation but you know it's just weird to be in a big luxurious place and have it be empty it it sends like a certain kind of energy do you know what i mean tomorrow i have my half day pass for like the the thermal suite area, but I know that most of it isn't open. Also, one difference on Mindshift, uh, it was included in the price of the cruise, but you had to make a reservation. Here, you also have to make a reservation and it costs a nominal fee. I think I paid seven, seven euros or eight euros for like four hours. And the price goes up and down depending on like sea day or land day and what time of the day. And looking forward to see what that's like. And otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but you'll know if you come back. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you do that. And remember, subscribing is something you can do to help your favorite YouTubers once. But another thing you can do on every video is press a thumbs up and write a comment. And I'm realizing, and I'm realizing I look, you know, I look a little tired, a little spent. A little sleepy. So it's time for me to hit the hay. See you next time. I just sat down here for like 10 minutes and won over 300 euros.